Hey, car network community. Here's something I want to talk about. Uh, I'm going to talk about some of the problems that I had doing carnivore diet. I've been doing it just a little, little over three months. And uh, to the most part, I've been eating clean. Uh, once in a while, when we would travel, I would get burger patties from a fast food restaurant. Other than that, I would eat clean. Um, being on a diet about two months, something like that, um, I had some mango habanero wings, and uh, next day, um, I think it's from all those carbs, because it, those wings were sweet from those carbs, I think I had a little bit of constipation. Ended up with the fissures, angle fissures, and uh, it was really painful. Uh, now and then, I would have um, fruit, maybe some cashews, some al almonds, maybe pecans uh, and for some reason every time I would have fruit I, I mean I, I, I love peaches I, I love uh, plums watermelon berries and uh, every time I have fruit I have problems um, to the point when I would say I'm about to give up the carnivore diet. I mean, don't get me wrong, I see good results health-wise. My weight's going down fast. Um, I mean, really fast. I'm getting closer to losing 100 pounds. Just, I am think I'm like, I have to check, I think I'm like 78 pounds or so, just in three months. Uh, my energy, um, blood clots went away, my energy's up, sleep got better, um, shoulder pain, joint pain's gone, um, my sleep apnea is gone, I sleep through the night. I wouldn't say like a baby because baby wakes up multiple times. I have ba two babies, I had two babies, so I know. They wake up every couple, a uh, few hours to eat or change the diaper and I'm not sleeping like that <laughs> uh, so it's kind of hard to talk about it because I mean not not everybody talks about it but I'm just gonna be honest and I'm gonna say it just the way it is just speaking my mind it's not scripted um, so, but uh, at the beginning of this week, which is like f six days ago, I woke up with a major constipation again. And it was so bad that Harry popped out. And who doesn't know who's Harry? It's a hemorrhoid. Went to uh, went to virtual doctor visit, got some uh, mild laxatives prescribed and uh, suppository. I mean the medicine that goes up your other end. Uh, it helps the pain kind of subsides. They work really good. The doc told me that it should take about 14 days to heal. Of course, she told me to add some fiber to the diet. So the problem is, I every time I would eat nuts, and particularly my family likes cashews and they like uh, almonds, and every time I eat those, I have a problem. Every time I eat some kind of fruit, I have a problem. So I start diving deep into this situation, start looking and reading online what causes constipation well 
since I know about oxalates, I've looked into oxalates. Well, oxalate dump will might create a constipation. Surprise. And so I started looking what, what kind of foods are high in consulates. And guess what's on the list? Almonds, cashews. Mm -hmm. I guess I gotta cut those out. I haven't been on this diet long enough to adding those back in. So for past six days, I've been eating really light. I've been eating uh, a lot of fat, bacon, sparingly. Just, I like bacon, but not that much. So I, I eat bacon when I want bacon. Uh, basically, I've been eating sardines and boiled eggs. And sometimes I'll make deviled eggs with the filling of uh, yolk and uh, sardines mixed with uh, um, uh, I think it's called uh, it's, it's mayo. It's one of the mayo that you can look at the ingredients and you know what it is. There's no sugars added anything like that, and some mustard. It's it's really good and. Uh, pork rinds. I would use pork rinds, make sauce out of uh, leftover yolks and uh, sardines and I would dip the uh, pork rinds into that and uh, uh, yeah, uh, eating like that once a day. And today is a Saturday so I had my, my breakfast at 12 o'clock. I had some sardines and later on I might have uh, closer to, to the night I would have for dinner maybe a little bit of steak. I'm cooking some, some meat in sous vide, so I might have a little bit of meat. Otherwise, I'm gonna have sardines again and eggs probably again. Um, so my question is, if any doctor's watching this, I would like to see your comment. And anybody, if anybody experienced it, I would like to see a comment down below under the video. I would like to read them and see any tips and tricks how to deal with this stuff because it's it's really painful and uh like like uh we say there is a it's a problem then you cannot you cannot show to anybody and you cannot see it yourself <laughs> it's in that kind of spot um there's a whole bunch of other foods that are on uh, that oxalate list um carbs can cause constipation. Um, oxalate dump can cause uh, constipation. And I, I can't think anything, any other stuff. Um, low fat, yes. Uh, so I'm healing slowly. I'm just gonna, from now on, I guess I'm just gonna stick strictly to meat and fat. Because I, it's, it's like one of those problems that, the, I mean, the, the hair is, uh, hammer is not the problem. I mean, it's, it's it's a problem, but not that big of a problem that you cannot function. But the fissures, they are so painful that you basically carrying, uh, feels like you're carrying glass between your butt cheeks. And every time it's time to go to the bathroom, you're literally afraid to go to the bathroom. Because uh, when you go, it feels like broken glass comes out, and uh, I kid you not, man, it's a, it's, it's a really unpleasant thing. I've been uh, also to take care of the problem. I mean, to to ease the pain and stuff. I would uh, do Epsom salt soaking in the bathtub, and uh, and that kind of helps too with the, with, with the joint uh, with with the a lot of joint pain with, uh, with, uh, with the muscle cramps and that kind of stuff because basically it's potassium or magnesium, I'm sorry. Uh, what else I want to say? 
Yeah, comment below. I would really like to know if you guys had this problem. If anybody had this problem, I want, I want you guys to comment below. I would ask you to add comment below so I can re read and uh, maybe get some tips for myself. Um, I'm gonna try to come out with updates at least once a week, maybe twice a week. Uh, I need I need to get better at making videos and posting them. I just I tend to procrastinate way too much. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm still kind of camera shy. So <laughs> forgive me for that. I got like one or two videos on YouTube up uploaded. Uh, comment below, subscribe, click the notification button, share with, with somebody that you know had this problem so they can comment too. And I appreciate that. So stay strong, stay healthy, be happy, and enjoy your life. And keep moving. Bye. See you next time.